Oh, we've got six days until the white stuff begins to fall, everybody. And in those six days, we have a lot to do, I think. Our food situation is actually not looking all that great. And we're playing Wes. We kind of need to get that under control. Uh, I have some plans for that. One of which being obviously a gobbler farm that I hopefully can finish in a certain amount of time. Also beeflo. Also whatever I can get my hands on. <laughs> This is gonna be, I have a feeling this is gonna be a very scrambly episode, but we shall see. But first things first, time to separate from the herd and do some slaughtering. Yes, we definitely, definitely need to get food situated. Um, I'm probably gonna kill a lot of beeflo. <laughs> I am probably gonna kill a lot of beeflo right now, folks. More than I usually do, because again, we gotta remember who we're playing. We gotta remember the settings that we set, most of which I actually don't even remember. But they're gonna start adding up fast because I remember lots of lots, lots of mores. Yep, yep, yep. But we need to, uh, yeah, we, we need to kind of bunker. Whoop! We need to kind of bunker down and be ready. So one, two, three, four, five. You didn't hit. Okay, here we go, folks. Here we go. Well, slaughtered that tiny little herd here, but don't worry, we got plenty more up here, and I'm pretty sure they extend a little bit this way too. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. That is, um, that's all right for now. But now I think the next thing we gotta do. Let's get some drying racks up. Yeah, we gotta make sure this meat actually is gonna last us in winter. So that's fine, that's fine. I guess I gotta go burn down another forest. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Let's head this way. Also, this was a good place to come because I need to get my bird cage up too. I'm just really waiting for my resource plots to grow. Um, unfortunately, I'm only gonna get one harvested. That's not great. I usually like to get at least two, hopefully three. But we'll have to make do with well, what we have to make do with. But we got some ways to uh, prolong some food, and we're working on them right now. And oh my goodness, everybody, here we go. Here we go. I tell people all the time, Chester can spawn anywhere he bloody freaking wishes. And people tell me all the time, no, that's not true. Yes, it is. He's in the freaking swamp, everybody. We found Chesty Boy. Oh, and he's going to get slapped to death already. Run, Chester. Oh, you stinking no idea. You're running into my base. Well, okay, I guess so. Why not? At least I know where you are. Okay, so let's get this. Let's get this. What goes into the door again? Then I'm going to need a rope, right? Going to need a rope. Going to need more than that, obviously. Wait, did I not? What did I just make? I, well, I don't know what I'm making. You know what? I'll figure it out as I go along. All right. What's next, folks? What's next? We got that up and rolling for a gobbler farm. That should be highly productive. At least here's hoping. Got to catch ourselves a bird for a bird cage. Ooh, the grass is coming in. Good, good, good. Twigs will be coming in soon enough as well. Okay. I think our next order of business is to see if we can still get some rabbits trapped one two three there's three right there and that's not bad that's not bad all right let's start uh let's start getting some rabbit traps placed for several reasons man drying racks are expensive little buggers when you really really start to think about it not in twigs or charcoal in rope and grass my goodness i just picked all my stuff and it's pretty much gone already <laughs> i can't be blowing it on all that okay so one two three four five five drying racks Better than nothing. All right, let's keep on keeping on here, folks. We got two days left. Two days until the white stuff starts falling. And you know, even with clearing all of the rabbits around this area for base last week, there are still seven of them around. I'm pretty sure, hold up, but there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, counting with beard, everybody. Counting with beard. Uh, seven rabbits, not bad. Not bad at all. Reason number one for rabbits, everybody, of course, is gotta be the press to hat to tater. Boom, bada bang, lovely stuff. Now, uh, where should I put this here for? Oh, is that hounds? Do I hear hounds? Yeah, that's hounds. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, let's uh, t let's get out of base here. Let's get out of base. Then we'll talk about some magic. I'm feeling like such a beginner player, everybody. And you know, it's kind of a fun feeling. But I ran to the beefalo just in case. But yeah, we got a firehound for Pete's sake. Wow. I was not anticipating the firehound so early. Not often you see them. Also, something about uh, hounds spawning in the water is actually so, so advantageous for you. Because it takes them a while to get to you. So you can just kill all of his friends that spawned on land very quickly. Then you kind of get a breather. Also, what the heck? There was only three hounds in that wave. 
That's, uh... Okay, I was expecting way more because I put them on lots, did I not? Or more, I don't know. Whatever the case, yeah, that really wasn't that bad of a hound wave. So let's get back to magic. Because we got some upgrade in the do, folks. And with a press a hat to tater, you can actually refine a purple gem. So boom, refine that, and boom, a shadow manipulator before the winter freeze. That is good, good stuff. Problem is, don't really have much to make off of it. <laughs> not really, anyway. Life-giving amulet's not bad. Ooh, you know what? Yeah, I want to make both of these, actually. Because both of those might come in handy down the line. So, boom. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, hello, Mr. Tree Guardian. Oh, I pacified you already with just those two things. Hello, Tree Guardian. I kind of need you. Oh, it's freaking nighttime. Okay, well, <laughs> time to fight him like this. Uh, I kind of need you. I would like to make a dark sword, if I'm honest. Oh, be very, very careful, dude. Okay, yeah, gotta remember who you're playing. <laughs> let's remember who we're playing. Less damage, less health, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's be careful here, let's be careful. I wanna get a Dark Sword because, as you can see, a Hand Bath, which should be dealing 50 damage right now, is only dealing 37.6. So, oh, and now I'm freezing to death. Okay, 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 let's run back home, let's run back home. Let's fight on my home turf. How about that, friend, how about that? But yeah, let's get, uh, let's get ourselves some Nightmare fuel, let's get ourselves some living logs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start getting some better weaponry here. Because we're kind of gonna need it. We're turning the corner. The first autumn is done, folks. The first autumn is done. Now the real game begins. And thank you, Glomer, for the insanity hookup. Yep, yep, yep. Working towards some good stuff, folks. Working to oh, working towards some good stuff. I hate when they spawn right on top of you. Not fair. Piss off, Nightmare. Dark Swords, more expensive than I remember. Probably because I'm just so used to having Nightmare Fuel on me. For whatever reason, my sanity has been totally fine this one. <laughs> totally fine this playthrough. Even playing this guy. Yeah, maybe I'm just too used to playing the Nights Out. You know, constant sanity drain. But, 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 with the Nightmare Sword or Dark Sword in hand, probably should take a look at our triple max set piece, shouldn't we, folks? Yes, indeedy. Mostly because there's going to be blue hounds there. And blue hounds means guaranteed hound teeth. And hound teeth mean hound teeth traps, which are things that we need to get up as soon as possible before the hound waves really do get out of hand. First kill of the day, folks. And of course, I'm surrounded by freaking pangles. What are we going to get? Ooh, I saw a tusk. Okay, tusk is good. Tusk is good. I'll take it. Nice, nice, nice. That's already more than our woody lights out playthrough. So yes, astronomically better already. Oh, I'm going to get them to fight each other, folks. I'm going to get them to fight each other. Yeah, dude. Here's the thing about the hunting party. They come after you. It's a proximity thing. So... You get the bloody uh, hunting party to walk by a tall bird nest, and then they're just going to duke it out. Yeah, dude, keeps me safe. Keeps me very, very safe. And the tall bird should be able to kill every single one of them, and then you just reap the rewards. Like munching on a little baby. Good stuff. Come on, Tam O'Shanter. No Tam O'Shanter. Not even anything that time. Ugh, yikes. Okay, well, at least we got walking cane. Walking cane is all right. We'll deal with the sanity. Like I said earlier, my sanity during this playthrough has been totally fine. It's everything else that's not working for me. Okay. Oh, do I? Yes, I should. Where's my backpack, though? Let's get that first. You know, still a good trip, though. Still a good trip. All those Mac Tusks dead. That's three chances every couple of days. With a potential fourth, once I find the actual natural Mac Tusk spawn to get something else. Of course, we're just looking for the uh, Tamo. Then we got some ice along the way. Not bad. With even more over here and more over there. That's good. Ice is one of the best resources in this entire game. Then we got a suspicious dirt pile. <sighs> Part of me doesn't want to go on this hunt because I made the hunts, uh, you know, have better chances to give us things that are not going to be very friendly to us. But if it is a koala fence, it's going to help a lot. That's going to fill up our belly. It's going to help heal us. Yeah. And then we might even dip down in the caves too. It's a lengthy trip. It's a lengthy trip. But it's going to help in the long run, I feel. It's going to help in the long run. So... Let's just get it done. Well, we'll never know because I actually lost that hunt. I was taking too long. I was making pit stops, trying to make pit stops, chopping trees, getting... Oh my gosh, I'm spawning pangles left and right. Jesus. Uh, trying to get ice and all that stuff. No, kind of lost it. Whoops, my bad. But yeah, I do think the next hunt I see should absolutely be a trip I need to take. Why? You only have two glaciers here? That's pretty terrible. Never mind. There's more. All right, let's get some ice. 
Biggest thing that come out of this trip, really, is gonna be the hound teeth and the bloody ice, for Pete's sake. Oh, and the tusk. That's pretty good, too. So, boom, bada, bang, everybody. A walking cane on day 23, unlike our Woody playthrough <laughs> that is on day nearly 100. Oh, and we haven't even gotten a walking cane yet. Yeah, that's a whole thing. But let's get everything back in order, shall we? This is exactly... Look at that. Just two of those. Oh, oh. I know Wes is obviously very difficult to play because of his low stats. But if you know how to get those stats back and you work towards it, man, it takes no time at all to do it. <laughs> Too jerky. Too jerky, and I'm already up to full stats. Yep. Good, good stuff. And I'm not going to kid around, folks. I am not going to kid around. I want to get these teeth traps up as soon as possible. I know the hound waves are going to get ridiculous. I just know it because they're going to be coming faster, yada, yada, yada. I got to be ready for that. If this is it. This is it. Like I said, this is the turning point. This is when all those lots and mores are going to start coming into play. Bosses are going to be showing up at weird times. Probably, I mean, I put them on lots. So that means they can be multiple in a single season. So yeah, this is... This is it. We gotta start preparing for the uh, the hard stuff. <laughs> so far, it's been just typical, hey, survive. And I know how to do that, obviously. But, who all the damage that I'm gonna do to myself is coming soon. And with that comes the next pressing issue, folks. Healing. What I'm gonna use to heal myself from and after these potential fights that I'm gonna be taking part in. And I think I have an idea for that. An idea that... Uh, it's kind of just fallen into my lap. I forgot I had a walking cane that is just kind of fallen in my lamp just because I have kept all my berry bushes unharvested. Oh, but the problem is it's winter, so they're not going to drop them. Right. So my whole idea is now not an idea anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is what happens, man. This is what happens. You think you have a grand plan? And then you start to realize, wait a minute, that's not how it works. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, so I picked up that morning star that we saw the other week, right? And it's actually coming in quite handy. <laughs> and it does throw off a lot of light. It really does. It really does. But I found another hunt, folks. This could be a pretty good one. This could be a pretty good one. Also, I thought of an unconventional way to get some healing here. But it's going to be pretty neat, because it's going to be a pretty darn pro tip if it actually works. Huh. Interesting. Is it possible that the hunt surprises thing also makes it where you can't finish hunts? Because this is the second one that I'm going to fail. And I didn't say it the first time because I was kind of a little embarrassed for not finishing the hunt. But... I couldn't find one of the things, one of the uh, the suspicious tracks. Like once I reached a certain one, I went looking in the direction that it was pointing me to and I literally couldn't find it at all. I even zoomed out because of course I can zoom out with the mod of course. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that is a component of the, uh, the setting that I changed that I just wasn't aware of. If so, well, <laughs> that sucks because there goes my second hunt. But I am actually glad that the hunt brought me here. Also, there's another one. You know what? I don't trust my hunts anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm glad that it brought me here because that healing thing I was talking about is going to require some uh, papyrus. So, so, so. Let's grab some reed, shall we? Also, while we're over here, might as well see if we have a reed trap. Oh, my goodness. I spoke it into existence, everybody. Hello, reed trap. Gotta say, the one thing that's getting to me during this playthrough is the fact that Wes's stomach is so small and that it drains fast. It's just making trips really short and annoying. And the long trips that I do go on have to be abruptly ended as I sprint back home in order to eat to, or like scramble around and try to find something. Know what I mean? That's what's getting me. Like, I would love to just keep on picking some reeds, but I can't. I'm going to starve to death over in the swamp. Yep, that's the biggest uh, difficulty right now, I gotta say. So it's time to prepare for that. I'm just going to grab a crap ton of meatballs, everybody, because I got a couple trips that I want to make before we wrap up here today. Want to attempt this thing that I was talking about. Problem is, crap, I forgot, I'm gonna need silk, so I'm gonna have to go kill some, uh, thingamadoogies, that's fine, okay, there's a couple right there. Uh, oh right, that's the guardian pig one, there should be some silk just for free over there. Okay, that's good, and then I'm gonna head down to the caves, hopefully then, if before then, maybe when we come out of the caves, Klaus will be here, 
We'll end the day on clops. That's what I'm hoping for, folks. That's what I'm hoping for. But yeah, we'll be wrapping it up here pretty soon. Uh, although this might be a pretty long episode. We shall see. We shall see. Side note, rabbits, man. Rabbits. I don't care what your level of experience is in this game. Just having rabbits nearby for winter, man, it's just a absolute lifesaver. Lifesaver. Look at that. I didn't even collect all of them. Five meat. Not bad at all. Might as well dry it with all this stuff already dried. Well, that didn't take long at all because I forgot how bloody cheap bug nets were. It's only two silk. It's only two silk. That's not bad at all. So, here's what I'm thinking, right? You can light these on fire and the bees come out and they're not angry at you. So, that's my ticket to bee farms in winter, right? Right, and that's what I'm thinking. Why can't I capture these guys right now? <laughs> They're stinging me before I capture them. It's so annoying. I'm gonna die to bees as Wes. I'm gonna die to bees as Wes. This is how this playthrough is gonna end. Oh, it's gonna be so stupid. But yes, folks, there's the pro tip for you. Light beehives on fire and the bees come out not angry with you. I really should be dodging and then trying to capture. That's really what I should be doing right now, but I'm not. That's another pro tip for you. Do that, <laughs> do that, but this is, this is just my ticket, everybody. This is my ticket to honey. And uh, at a time where you really weren't gonna get honey. Oh, but that's a killer bee, that's not gonna help me. Piss off, killer bee. Seriously, I almost died freaking capturing bees for Pete's sake. But now comes the tedious part. I kind of have to hit their highs and run, hit their highs and run, hit their highs and run. But I got to get those honeycombs, of course. Got to get those honeycombs. But 20 bees, that's not bad at all. Get enough honeycombs, get enough wood, five bee boxes. Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. I cannot believe I almost died to freaking bees. <laughs> but I got them, everybody. I got them. Okay, so... Biggest thing, just wood. Just gonna get the wood. I got the bees. I got the honeycombs. There's a lot of angry bees over there now, which is gonna be a problem, but we'll deal with that later, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, haven't heard Klops yet. I'm surprised. With turning on lots, I was really, really thinking that uh, he'd be showing up pretty early, but it doesn't look like it. So, we might just have to end on something sweet, not something big and scary. And here we go, folks. Five bee boxes coming right at you. Now, you might be asking, hold up, how are you gonna do this? Because you're not gonna be able to plant flowers to make sure they even produce anything. And they're not even gonna come out because it's winter. Well, here's the thing about bee boxes, folks. They work even when you aren't around. They have a little behind the or just background uh, mechanic to them where they produce honey like one every however many days. Whatever the case may be, they still actually produce when you're off screen. Just super duper slow like. It's why I put them very much off screen because I'm just going to let them work and just check in on them now and then. Now, before we wrap up today, though, there's one last order of business. Tam o shanter time, everybody. And look at this. They're actually fighting the freaking Bengals that are here. Oh, man. I would not fight the Bengals if I were you. <laughs> I would not fight the Bengals if I were you. Oh, good. Oh, that, that hound went for the bloody freaking egg. That's my egg, you son of a gun. Oh, you guys are going to get absolutely wrecked. Oh, and he didn't even drop it either. Really? I killed one already. Didn't drop it. Killed this guy. Well, actually, I didn't kill this guy. They killed this guy, and then they got nothing again. What the heck is going on? I cannot get a Tam O Shanter to the drop, folks. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, folks. You gotta be kidding me. Well, at least it's not the end of winter, but man, oh man, oh man, all these attempts today. Not a single Tam O Shanter drop. Not good, not good. But 11 more Hound Teeth, two more Blue Gems. Gotta say, though, those are good finds. Those are fantastic finds. Oh, I hear him. Yep, that's Klops. Okay, so yeah, of course, we're playing Wes, so he's not gonna warn me, but I absolutely freaking hear him coming. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Living Forest set piece? Yeah, I think the Living Forest set piece is probably gonna be the better option here. Although he's gonna get absolutely destroyed. Um... Darn it, it's about to be nighttime too. I gotta make this decision before he freaking spawns for Pete's sake. Uh, living Forest, the retrap, Living Forest, retrap, Living Forest, retrap, retrap, retrap. Okay, let's go retrap instead. Why? No, I actually like the Living Forest better. Oh, 
Oh, but he's gonna die in 11 4. It's way too fast. Oh, indecision, indecision, indecision. Well, I went with living force, everybody. I went with living force. Even though he's absolutely gonna get his crap pushed in, because watch this. After he hits one of these, yep. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. All those tree guardians coming at him. Nothing can survive. What the heck is his hand doing? It's glitched. Nothing can survive this. No, boss. It's insane, all these tree guardians that show up. But. He might, might, might be able to kill one of them. And if not, at least all the tree guardians are uh, up and away now, so that will be fine. But look at this. Oh my gosh, he can't... He's already at 800 health. Klops is already at 400 health, everybody. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to kill a single one. Down he goes. Bye-bye, Klops. Oh my goodness. And then these guys, yep, yep, yep. It's uh, nighttime, so they go right back to bed. But... Thank you very much, my friends. Thank you very much. You helped me kill Klops in pretty much record time. My gosh. And with some failed survivors hammered, we got ourselves the eyebrella, everybody. Good, 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 good. So, this is going to be the end of the day. I'm so happy Klops actually bloody showed up. Good, 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 good. So, that's good. That's in motion. That's in motion. Next week, we're starting out with something very interesting. We're starting out by grave digging, and I'll explain more when we get there. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.